Chicago, a city under siege to a crazed killer. Stalking the south side, he's struck three times already, and the police seem powerless to stop him. The first victim, Francis Ryle, a 29-year-old small-time racketeer, but this is no gangland sling. Victim number two, Johnny Fleischman, a successful car salesman and businessman found dead in an alley. And the third victim, gambling ex-boxer Eddie Babyface Bates, gunned down and dumped among the garbage cans. Chicago wonders, where will the executioner strike next? Way I remember, it was a Tuesday back in the summer of 1952. Some nut job was cruising the city, throwing up corpses decorated with a single slug to the head and dollar bills ran into the kisser. The execution of the papers called him. There'd been three stiffs already, the city was screaming, and the cops, they hadn't got a clue. But then, I'm not a cop. Samuel Investigations, how may I help you? Oh, hello, Mr. Kaufman. I'm afraid Mr. Molloy's not here right now. <laughs> yes, I will. The minute he gets him. Okay. Goodbye, sir. That's my girl. Sam, Kaufman's called three times already today. You better give him some news on that 20 grand. And fast. Do it now. I don't want him chewing on my ear again while you're daydreaming. <laughs> I would only be dreaming of you. <laughs> oh, my God. Annie! You knew her? Annie Lewis! She was my best friend. We grew up together over in Maywood. Gee, Velma, I'm so sorry. She worked at the Blue Flamingo. Taking pictures! I told her not to take the job! Must have seen her last night. <laughs> Sam, you've got to find out who did this. I'll find him. Listen. Anything for my favorite girl, hey? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blue Flamingo, Chicago's home of fine entertainment. We've got a great show lined up for you this evening, so let's get right to it. We're about beautiful flamingo dancers. The Blue Flamingo, a nightclub over on 47th Street. The place that Annie Lois had worked and the place that linked all the bodies together. Everybody had a story to tell about it. And each one was crazier than the last. See, this was a black and tan job. On the south side, it didn't matter if you were white or colored. So long as you had a dough to throw, nobody gave a damn what you were or how you got there. This is the joint owner, Earl the Pearl Fraser, so called because of his habit of wearing pearl cufflinks. Rumor was, Earl would get a noose at every time he disappeared a guy, and rumor was, he had boxes full of them. The doll with the loaded rack is Sugar Can Dichi, Earl's girl, lucky schmuck. Yeah, I know. I appreciate that, Sal. Well, <laughs> God damn it, Sal, I said by the night. I mean by the night. Dealing with Earl, I knew I was dancing with the devil. And if I wanted to keep my feet, I'd have to move like I could show Gene Kelly a step or two. Jeez, it ain't like it's the first Hush time. Hush now, honey. You know I don't like it when you talk about your work. Baby, if you don't like it, why'd you sit there, huh? What I didn't know was what else the Flamingo had in store for me. So, Sam, what you looking for? I was gonna talk to Earl, but, uh... You got something to say. You seem to know it all already. Let's talk. What do you know? About the murders? Not a thing. 
but uh, if you want to continue your investigation, Ooh. I'm happy to help. Gloria Devine, hotter than Kansas in July. I didn't know it at the time, but this little lady was gonna change my life. Uh, Mr. Fraser's busy right now, but if you don't... Don't like tell it. me what I can or can't do! Oh, don't own me! Okay, I guess it's about time the cops showed up. And this one's a doozy. Mike Branning, Chief of Police and Chicago's Finest. Oh, that's what he'd like you to think. But believe me, there's more to this guy than a badge and a bag of donuts. Wasn't a pie in the city he didn't have his finger in. The other guy is Kowalski. He's a stand-up guy, and just maybe the only hey, clean cop in Chicago. Dumb whore. Hey, who is he calling a dumb whore? Gee, officer, what seems to be the problem? Dying a fresh out of donuts. Hey, cut the sack, sweetie. Unless you want me to bring you in too. Oh, what? Think of something. Oh, oh gee, good police work, chief. They're advocating false charges again. What's the matter? Solving real crimes too hard for you? Yeah. Oh, hey, you know you know you hey, 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 if we could tell you anything, we would. Well, it probably don't mean nothing, but there's this guy who sits up front. He sent all those awful letters to Edie, remember? Yeah, they were kind of scary. Well, what was the guy's name? Dawson. Bill Dawson. Hey, hands off. But if I could just get a picture. You're so pretty. Come on, buddy, that's enough. He lives over, over in South Shore, over 67th Street, he said. 67th Street, huh? Let's go. Think we'll pay this Mr. Dawson on visit? You're desperate and you know it, Chief! You got nothing on this guy! Okay, Dawson. How many more times have I got to listen to this bullshit? You're gonna burn for us! You hear me, boy? You're gonna fry! <laughs> Please, this is Brendan Breezy. I swear I didn't do it! Confess, you son of a bitch! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 